All right, what's up, folks? Starting day nine. Yep. Just left uh, Dick's, Creek. Dick's Creek Gap. We're headed up. There's a whole bunch of people right here coming up together. Everybody who was at the, the hostel last night had some good bacon and eggs this morning. Courtesy of Papa Bear. Somebody's dog running around. A couple of them up there. But we're supposed to get some ice and rain today, so we'll see how we how far we go. Goal is 15. We'll get back to y'all. Bye. Alright, hey, what's up YouTube? So uh we've been hiking now for I don't know about 20 minutes or so, but we finally got up into the into the snow from the past couple days. It's starting to melt off because it was a little bit warmer yesterday. But uh as you can see, everybody's starting to kind of spread out now. We had to stop and stretch and do all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, but we're up now around 3,000 feet, so we'll be climbing today uh, close to 4,000 feet. We're kind of just going to base our distance off of the weather because there's supposed to be a big snow coming in this evening and in tomorrow, tomorrow morning. So we're gonna try and find a lower spot and stop and get camp set up before all that happens. Uh, that's our that's our game plan as of now. And I think there's probably gonna be at least five of us at that camp spot. Whoa, almost broke my face. Uh, so yeah, there'll be at least five of us at that campsite to kinda watch out for each other. It's pretty neat. That's kinda one of the cool things about that I found on the trail so far is you kind of get into this little bubble of hikers that you're always seeing and you're always around and you start to kind of build a little team and look out for one another and that kind of thing so I think all of us are going to stop around the same place today uh, weather dependent so if it uh if the weather holds out we'll push our full 15 and if not we'll stop uh, a little shy or whatever whatever we need to do but right now it's just kind of partly cloudy, but still see some blue up there. So we might hopefully have at least like four or five hours of good solid weather to hike in. But uh, yeah, today is March. Hang on, mind the camera here. It is March 13th. So, and it is 10 o'clock in the morning. And we just left Dick's Creek Gap from uh, top of Georgia Hostel. Great, great place. Highly recommend it. Sir Pax a lot. Is a, he runs a really good outfit there. Um, super duper nice. Uh, each morning, Sir Pax a lot will give you a little talk and kind of give you his words of wisdom, which are always welcome. And uh, the uh, facilities are great. Um, we went ahead and paid for a shower, you know, the shower and the full experience. So we reserved a bunk and paid for, uh, the laundry service and all that. And they'll wash, fold your clothes for you and everything. It's pretty, pretty sweet. So it's a pretty sweet gig. Good place to take a zero. So that's kind of what's up. I'm good. But, uh, yeah, so we'll be on the trail and, uh, I'll let you know when we stop. All right. Bye. What's up? I'm doing my video too. Yeah, we just made Say it. Say what up, YouTube. Uh, to be you. Here, so we're going to keep that. moving. Uh, we'll see you guys. One at state camp. down, about boys. Three more miles. We'll see One you state down. What is that? 80 miles? Yeah. Yeah. It's like 79 points something. So, I mean, 2,100 left to go. <laughs> <laughs> Give, or take. Take. Give or take. Yeah. Like 87 miles we've hiked so far. That's one state. Nice. You see what we're with right now. It's like cold, cold, cold out It's here. cold. It's like 27 oh, degrees. Yeah. So we're going to keep rolling before we freeze. We Hi, bye. The... Alright, what's up, folks? So we just crossed the North Carolina border. I don't even know if you can hear me. But, man, there's a hill coming from, coming right out of, I guess it's towards Bly Gap or after Bly Gap. Whoo! It is straight up. Uh, it's straight up. 
man it's then to top it off the ambient temperature right now is probably 22 degrees and the wind is blowing like at least 30 miles an hour so we're going over we got to go over this mountain you just look around me i mean it's crazy oh man josh and the rest of the freaking mountain goats are up in front of us i don't know how they just go it's crazy maybe because they're like 19. that's what i tell myself Whew. man so worth it but it is super cold and very tiring so we're gonna do about another three miles and call it that'll put us at 12 for the day all right i'll get y'all back Bye. all right what's up youtube so we're about a half mile well not even probably 0.3 from where we're planning on stopping at muskrat shelter but uh yeah man we're hiking, hiking through these rhododendrons it's aussie it's cold out here man i think it's like 29 now about to cross over the bridge of death all right i use you guys as a reason to stop just so you know all right i'll be back bye all right youtube what's going on as you can see we are in a winter wonderland so we sheltered up last night put eight people in a six person shelter <laughs> and it was uh pretty dang cold that was down in the teens we woke up this morning and there's a fresh coat of i don't know probably about at least two inches of snow, three inches maybe. Um, it's still kind of falling, but it's supposed to be kind of like this all day. But that's okay. We put in our uh, 14 or whatever we put in yesterday, and so today we're gonna go for uh, I don't know, 10 maybe. Um, we're kind of gonna feel it out. We want to walk until our don't want to go until your feet are numb or anything, but uh, we want to get closer. It's gonna be it's gonna be even colder tonight so uh, I'm just kind of taking it easy watching our step and stuff and yeah so this is uh, I think Monday morning I don't know I can't feel my watch but uh I can't see it but anyway it's the day after the last day I talked to you so I'll get that information later down the line but all right I gotta get moving so I can get some blood flow going, so we'll see y'all later. Bye. Alright, hey, what's up, YouTube? Alright, so I checked. It's Friday, or no, day. it's the 14th. Tuesday, the 14th of March. And, uh, man, I've only been walking for probably two miles, but it is. It dropped a lot of snow last night. I mean, there's parts where you're coming around the
hopefully my feet don't get too jacked up but they're feeling good so far and uh yeah so we're just trying to go our uh I don't know 12 or between 12 and 16 it just depends on what kind of shelter we got we don't want to we don't want to stay in the tents because there's so much snowfall that uh you're basically just set your tent up on top and you'll wake up and be in a pool of water so we'll figure it out dig a snow cave or something <laughs> but uh yeah so i'm gonna keep at it i'll turn it back on if there's anything cool up here in a cloud we're at like 4,500 feet so almost a mile up um, yeah cold all right well all my Florida people y'all stay warm and uh, yeah be thinking of us up here all right we'll talk to y'all later bye gotta love the snow runoff into your super cold ice cold drinking water oh snap there goes my bottle the struggle's real folks the struggle's real all right still in my winter wonderland about five miles in ten to go bye hey what's up YouTube still walking <sighs> Been at it for about four hours. Just hit one mile up. 5,200 feet. And it's still cold. I don't know what it is right now, but it's very cold. All right, I'm gonna keep going. I think I got about Six more miles to go. Should drop back down to around 3,000 feet for tonight. All right, I'll talk to you then. Woo! Cold. Bye bye. I told you. All right, what's going on, YouTube? Here we are. We made it our 16 miles to uh, Betty Gap, and. Uh, now everybody's in their individual tents thawing out. What's up? What's up? Yeah, yeah. But we all made it and uh It's cold as balls. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold. So uh yeah. We're just gonna camp here tonight and then uh we're gonna get up in the morning and do twelve miles into Winding Stair Gap and uh head into Franklin, Franklin North Carolina. All right, so we'll get with y'all after that. All right, bye. All right, hey, what's up, YouTube? It's six o'clock in the morning, and uh, yeah, that's ice in my tent. It is uh, very cold. Let's see what the temperature is today. <clears throat> Let me see here. We'll put you down. Oh, it's only nine. Only nine degrees? Yeah. Only nine yeah. degrees. Yeah, it's nine degrees, so Holy that's not shit. Not so bad. Nine degrees right now. That is fucking Sorry for the language, YouTube, but uh, yeah. yeah. That's like makes me feel pretty here, uh, good about myself. Here we go. Let's get ready for the day. God, I just farted again. Okay, bye. Oh. So it's probably about seven. We've been walking for about an hour. Uh, Everything's frozen, but I had to stop because I just we're walking on this straight cliff. I don't know if any of this will come out, but it it's absolutely beautiful. Sun's coming up over there. You can see the red. You can see the uh, snow falling over there. We're about five thousand feet up. I hope this is coming out because that's freaking cool. And it's just a straight cliff right here that I'm on. All right, we're headed into Franklin today. So I'm just gonna get it and 
uh, we got to dry everything out. Everything's soaking wet from the past two days of snow. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna let you guys go, and I'll just queue it back up if something crazy is awesome that I see or whenever I get there. All right, bye. All right, sorry about that. Okay, it's Wednesday the 15th. Uh, I tried to do a little bit this morning, but you couldn't really see. And all the other people camping around us were hollering and stuff. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, so hopefully you can see me now. It's uh, about 9 degrees this morning, and uh, the wind's blowing, so knock that down it's in the definitely in the negatives um but what i wanted to tell you about what i wanted to talk about is uh what to wear when you're walking in this uh because you, you're gonna generate body heat and i know it's hard to get yourself going in the mornings but if you can uh like i'm wearing an r1 a patagonia r1 hoodie uh, with the hood on and then just my my rain jacket as a windbreak uh, but that's really all you need and then I'm just wearing my pants and uh, box briefs but yeah it's cold but when you're moving it's not that bad I'm about to cover my face back up because I can feel my beard freezing and I don't want to get frostbite but uh yeah, this is what this is what we're in today. We gotta go up to the top of this mountain, which is gonna be fun. But uh, I'll get back to y'all later. All right, bye. Still climbing, but I just made it up to the top of the almost the top of the mountain. I got this sweet view. We're about 5,200 feet right now. You see the snow falling over there. Yeah, come on out, son. That's what I'm talking about. Whoo! Thank you, God. Man, so pretty. All right, folks. Here we go. Just hit 100 miles. What, what? 2,000 more to go. <laughs> uh, okay, bye. Three miles away from our 12 mile day completion. We're at three hours right now. Uh, making really good time. But finally got some sunshine in my life. Oh, it feels so good. Hey, what's up, folks? Well, I'm walking down. Try not to break my face because it's icy. Walking down into Winding Stair Gap. Finished our. Turned out to be about 13 miles today. Uh, but I'm going to see if I can't get a hitch Josh and everybody's already in town they were freaking flying I made it here in five hours so over the mountains and everything with all the ice I'll take that but uh yeah so I made it out now I just got to make it into uh, make it into uh, Franklin North Carolina here all right wish me luck bye Hi, hey, what's up, guys? Hey. So, uh, it's pointing at me right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I happened down, uh, what was that place called? Winding Stair Gap. Winding Stair Gap. Came on the road and had this nice gentleman right here offer me a bus ride <laughs> along with all these folks. So I'm going to go thaw out, catch up with everybody. I'll get back with y'all a little bit. Hi, right, bye. All right, hey, what's up, YouTube? So uh, my camera, my GoPro, shut off on me on the way down, but 
we made it made it out um hit winding stair gap and uh it was pretty pretty interesting well first off i'll tell you this. so we got a we're in a hotel in uh uh where are we at franklin north carolina so i'll show you this is what it looks like when you are drying out all your <laughs> your tent and stuff uh everything's just kind of thrown around got everything recharging and all that <clears throat> um but yeah uh i came out of winding stair gap it was freezing freezing cold and um i just walked out on the road and i was picked i pulled out my phone to call for a ride and uh this dude just pulls up in a in a van <laughs> in a bus thing and he's like hey man where you need a ride and i was like well yeah I don't care where you're going, let's go. So I jumped in and there was about four other dudes in there, four other hikers. So um, he brought me over here to where Josh was already at. And uh, so we got us, got us a spot and uh, went and got us some, some barbecue from a little Willie's barbecue joint here. Um, pretty good place if anybody's ever interested. But uh, my cousin sent me a couple more questions from her class in uh there in green cove and um uh, one was what would what would we do if if we got separated and we didn't have cell phone service or didn't have cell coverage and uh that actually happens more than you think um basically we talk our plan before the day starts we uh we tell each other you know we say hey we're we're gonna make it to here um and so we go and we do that and uh, if we don't have cell service, we don't. Like, uh, Josh was already here at the hotel. And um, so, I mean, you know, we just, just kind of do just kind of do it. But, uh, but yeah, then uh, I think the other question was, uh, what if somebody gets, like, injured or whatever? Um, and there's, there's safety processors, not processors, that's not what I want to say. There's, uh, there's safety things in, in place for that. And, uh, so yeah, we're, uh, but you know, if all else fails, you could splint up a, splint up a, a leg or whatever and hobble out if you need to, you got walking sticks and all kinds of stuff. So, um, but for the most part, there's, uh, there's phone numbers and stuff that you can call, um, to come and help you out. And that's the cool thing about the AT is for the most part, you're pretty, pretty close to, uh somewhere to get out we got that spot gps too that's right got that spot gps too you tell them about that? no not yet josh has this spot thing this is a video i, know that. <laughs> I was trying to be quiet uh josh has this spot thing on that he carries with him that has a it's a gps locator. it's like a gps locator <laughs> that you can push a button and it'll send an emergency signal out um and you can also go on there and track it uh I'll have to give that. In, I'll have to get that information over to and Aaron and them, them, and you guys can follow us, and you can see kind of exactly, what we're exactly where through. where we're going and what we're walking through that day. But uh, but yeah, so this video is already going to be super duper long because it was a couple days and it was really really cold and icy. So uh, everything's just laid out, drying and all that. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get this video put up while I can and get it created and everything and uh, get it uploading so that it's uh, it's done. I, I was intending on doing more than just like two days at a time, but it, it takes up so much space and I don't have expandable memory on my phone. So, um, so yeah, that's okay. We'll make it work. Uh, I just have to edit it down. But uh, yeah, so we're here, we made it, uh, we survived. And, um, yeah, we're, we're deciding right now what we're going to do tomorrow because I think there's some bad weather again coming in tonight. And we have a climb to one of the higher points in North Carolina, um, Siler Bald. So, I mean, it's like 5,500 feet. Um, so we'll figure it out. But I'll get back to y'all. I'm going to go ahead and post this. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're new, like and subscribe and, uh, and check out our other videos. Um, you can check out Walking with uh, Mountain Goat too. That's, that's my brother's video, so my brother's thing. Um, but yeah.
So uh, appreciate it, and all right. See y'all later. Bye.